everybody thanks for tuning in to living on the farm uh, just a quick little update uh, we got all our heifers bred the bulls are out with them right now but uh, the day we went to breed May 1st we found out that one of the heifers was actually already bred so kind of a accident nobody knew about it uh, until it was too late so we sorted her out and uh, put her by our that's her and uh, actually about two or three weeks ago she had a baby so uh, we did have to help her have it she wouldn't just lay down and have it but she's so young she just had no idea what to do uh, but everything worked out and here is the little guy he uh it's been doing good it took a little while to get him she wasn't a big fan of him at first but after three or four days of messing with her and calming her down and letting her let the baby nurse uh they're doing good now she loves him flicks on him and takes care of him and he's pretty lazy likes to lay around but everything turned out as good as it could have hey guys we've kind of updated you on what's going on with the cattle and i'm just going to take a minute here and kind of update uh, how our crops are progressing uh we're in day number eight of rain every day and it is uh last week uh, we shot some video of the surface water we've got down on the uh, lower farm and that water has been on there off and on for the last week or so so what's going to go on down there i just really don't know i suspect that we'll have to uh, plant several of those beans back in uh, plant them over because as the water stands on them that long it'll kill them uh, but uh, we won't know until uh, a week or so down the road and doesn't make any difference till it dries up enough to get in there anyway our corn crop is a growing well uh, the rain has been good on it it was getting where it needed to rain so it's uh, doing a uh, doing real well we had some storms that damaged some folks's uh, corn uh, but uh, we were able to avoid that uh, here on our fields and the biggest uh, issue we've got uh, pressing on us right now is we have uh, wheat that is uh, soon going to be ready to harvest and with all this rain it's kind of a two-fold effect on it of course the ground gets super soggy so we have uh, ground conditions it's hard to harvest in but uh, wheat is also a very fickle crop when it gets ready to be cut it doesn't like anything better than dry weather uh, the drier the better uh, when it gets a lot of rain on it it'll cause the quality of the grain to uh, deteriorate uh, it'll cause some diseases uh, to get in it that uh, causes them not to want to buy it in town at the elevator so uh, we prepared for all of that we uh, sprayed it uh, a few months ago with the helicopter with the uh, right kind of chemical to hopefully keep all that from happening uh, but uh, we're just kind of in a holding pattern it's kind of frustrating uh, but it's nothing we haven't seen before um, we just have to be patient wait for the conditions to get right and then go in there and and get our wheat so uh, just a quick update on what's going on here and uh, we'll see you next time